All right, so here we have the new Racer Start BR-1507 3600KV. I got this motor from Banggood. I thought it would be a good one to test, so I went ahead and ordered it. Um, uh, just to, uh, since I've been testing a lot of the 1408s, 1507s, 1407s, I thought this would be a good, uh, a good motor to test uh, to add to the uh, database. Uh, so we can compare it to all the other motors. So as usual, comes in this uh, box from Racer Start. Nothing fancy, and comes well packaged in this bubble wrap. And they give you just minimal stuff: uh, aluminum uh, lock nut and four tiny screws, probably uh, for two millimeter arms. So here's the motor. Usual Racer Start reddish color and it's conventional style so you can see it's got the full base on the motor and usual racer start design so pretty basic motor it is a budget motor it's only about nine dollars and fifty cents uh, so that's why i thought it'd be interesting to test to see what the ten dollar motor can do against uh, all the other uh, premium motors uh, for this size uh, so as you can see it comes with uh, this is about 70 millimeters of uh, wire leads and this is pretty thin, it's probably like a 22 gauge, I think. Uh, it's either 22 or 24. Alright, so let's go ahead and weigh it with the 70 milliliters worth of wire. So that's 17.2 grams, uh, just as what they claim on the Banggood website. Uh, they're also saying that the wire for the windings are good for 180 uh, degrees uh, centigrade. Uh, same as the magnets. They're their high temperature magnets and that the bearings they're saying they're NMB bearings so they're not just your generic type of bearings so so hopefully that's the case so they they'll uh, last uh, plenty of time and they won't go bad after a couple of flights so this motor comes with a standard uh, C-clip right here easy to remove and it's got a little brass washer uh, so I already went ahead and removed that it's, uh, those are the easiest ones to remove and easy to pull apart and as you can see the bearing came off so so it fits fairly loose there so it just came off like that but uh, let's see yeah it's just slightly loose and snug so that's good it's easy it'll it's gonna be easy to replace uh, same with the bottom one it's also easy to remove you just push it out very easily uh, so the interesting thing about this motor as you can see is that uh, for this size, it's a new feature. I think Brother Javi started it having 14P configuration for this small motor. That's why you can see the stator coils are pretty thin, as you can see there. So there's 12 uh, coils there. All right, so let's get uh, the magnifying glass so we can have a better look. All right, so there's the stator. Pretty good job on the winding there. Not bad for uh, this price point. And interesting thing about this motor is that they went with 14 P configuration so there's 12 stator coils there uh, brother Javi was one of the first ones to come up with that on their 1507 don't know if that makes the motor more efficient or more powerful but it's just interesting so the stator is supposed to be seven millimeters let's uh, get a measurement there uh, so there we go yeah, it looks like a uh, seven millimeters. Uh, so the windings are not too bad. Uh, stator looks pretty decent. And there's the uh, magnets, pretty chunky magnets. They're not curved, just regular block magnets. Shaft looks like it's two millimeters. So let's get a measurement on that. That's that's two millimeters. So pretty standard, I think, for this size. And it's just pressed in there. Uh, into the uh, uh, propeller shaft which is in integrated into the bell no lip right there but it should be okay it looks like there's plenty of epoxy so I don't expect uh, these magnets to have any issues coming loose looks like they use plenty of uh, epoxy there on appearance overall the build looks pretty decent for a nine dollar and fifty cent motor you can see though that the air gap is a little bit on the wide side so you know that usually affects max thrust uh, usually motors with that much of a air gap 
don't make as much thrust as motors that have a little bit tighter gap but on the other hand that makes them run a little bit smoother on transition so when you're on and off the throttle they don't jerk too much so I think overall not too bad for nine dollars and fifty cents it's just a matter of basically abusing it and just seeing how good this turned out unfortunately I, I can't do that because I just got the one motor and uh, I just don't have the time to actually fly them fly all the motors that I test uh, so that's, that, that's the only one thing that I can't give you guys I can tell you how durable those bearings are going to be unless like I really noticed that they're pretty crappy after testing it uh, but usually most bearings don't uh, go bad on testing because you know that's not much stress there uh, uh, sideways uh, it's only when you start crashing that bearings uh, really do go bad uh, hopefully those bearings are true and MB bearings and they're durable so we'll put it on the thrust stand and see how it does with the usual props and hopefully it turns out to be a good low budget motor for three inch and maybe four inch props Okay, so here we have the thrust test results for the Racer Star BR1507 3600 kV. Uh, this one came in right on spot at 3600 kV, so pretty good. So I went ahead and tested on 4S, the usual props for this uh, size motor, 3 inch, 4 inch, and threw in a 5 inch just to see what the motor is capable of. So starting with the 3030 by 4, 610, so so that's a respectable thrust uh, number there at 21 amps. Then onto the Rotor X 3044T, a little bit more thrust uh, for a little bit more amps. So that's pretty good. Uh, this prop is best uh, flying forward. So in static, it'll show a little bit high amps, but uh, here we can see it's doing quite well. Then the Lumineer 3040, this prop always does pretty well. So 633 at 20.5. Uh, then we move on to the 4 inch prop, uh, then on to the 4 inch props, Genthan Flash 4052 by 3, uh, 742, so a little bit more amps, so pretty good thrust there at 36.4, this prop is always going to show high amps, it's been designed to fly forward, so in static they show high amps at uh, these flash props, then the 2 blade 4045, 783 at 23.8 so that's quite good actually uh, then the 40 43 by 3 from HQ still higher thrust at 28 so all these uh, amps seem to be pretty much in line with the thrust so they should be pretty manageable for the motor and uh, most uh, 800 milliamp hour batteries on 4S as I always say keep in mind these are static thrust max burst number so in the air that's gonna be a lot lower in the order of about 35 to 40 percent lower so that becomes quite manageable for most uh, setups uh, then on the 4045 by 3 865 at 29 amps and finally the 5 inch prop just to see what the motor is capable of uh, getting close to one kilogram at 21.6 so overall this motor did uh, quite well for the price point as you can see it's a uh, fairly efficient no crazy amp numbers and no crazy power to develop the thrust uh, everything's pretty much in line with the type of thrust that is making uh, so that's going to be an interesting motor to keep an eye on uh, for low budget builds 
so there you go that's the trust test results uh, and the numbers so you can compare it against the other motors and uh, see if that's a good match for what you're trying to do uh, so thank you for watching and until the next video